Hi, everybody. Happy uh, Saturday. All right, so you see me here. I'm fiddling around with the autopilot controller wire bundle. Uh, yeah, we're just uh, we're finishing up the G3 X system, so I think this is the last two videos of it. Really, I mean, the only thing that we've got at this point is uh, I still don't have the number one com back, so don't know why that's not working. Backup com works great. That's uh, fantastic. Uh, all we need to do now is just figure out why the GPS isn't working, which I'm sure at the time I didn't know what was going on. I just assumed I'd killed something, right? Because, you know, I did all of these coax connection dings see them sitting back there next to the firewall. I'm like, I, I just, I must have not done them right. I mean, I've, I, I see how the crimpers work. I've crimped tons of stuff before. Maybe these crimps are special. No, they're not special. It, it all worked. It's not that difficult. Yes, I mean, you know, you can always get some bad wire or a bad, you know, a bad piece. It, it happens, but, yeah, so far, everything's been good. Actually, right, so that's not true. I mean, there's, like, been one or two places where a wire just has mysteriously gone bad. Uh, it doesn't look crimped anywhere between where it had lost the connection, but, hey, you know, things happen. You know, it's like, look, here's the thing. You can get nut plates. Be very careful about this. Sometimes you will find a nut plate that has not been tapped. And you will rivet that thing on. And then you'll go to screw something in. And, and it just... Now if you're lucky, you'll screw it in very gently. And kind of groove in... You know, into the nut plate. But most of the time, the, the you know screw won't even go in. You're going to look at it and go... Jesus, not threaded. What the hell is that? So you can be careful. All right, so this is confession time uh, while you watch me just working on wiring. And again, it's all it's all in a weird order because uh, here I am working on getting the wiring for COM number two. I, I, you know, I've already shown you a video of the COM shelf. It's just, I feel like an idiot. I, I'm not going for any kind of award here. Anyone's ever, if anyone's ever watched Memento, this is this is what I'm kind of doing. I'm just going to show you the future first, and then back up to the past. Back up to the past. Anyway, it's time for confession. So, at the time you see me working here, this is about early September. By late September, I'm done with all of this work. I've got all of the wiring done. So in the next few weeks, you're going to see me finishing up all of it. Well, I mean, I. 92% of it. After that, I hear about the hangar I'm going to get to move into. So I'm like, oh, that's great. And I spend all my energy prepping, getting that ready, packing, thinking, planning, praying, sacrificing chickens so that it works. Anything. Anything. I've got to get my own personal hangar. Uh, and so I haven't touched a plane since late September. I mean, I've done, I've done work on like a side project that's related to it, but... I haven't, I mean, as far as actually going back in and doing any more work on the wiring, nothing. Nothing. I mean, I've, I'm, I think I may have fired it up a couple of, the system a couple of times just to show somebody, just to make sure it all works, and it does, because it's a great system. But that's it. So, here I am outside. I'm uh, establishing some more two-way communications with the tower. It's an addicting thing. It's like, hey, Van's here. What's up, bitches? That's it. That's us. It's almost what I want to say. All right, so uh, I've, I've re-recorded the section like 15 times because it always sounds like doom and gloom. Like I'm just like, oh, sometimes you don't want to work on the plane. You know, oh, it's such a pain in the ass. Hey, look, it's just like every other thing in the universe. Ebbs and flows. People that can build in a year, good for them. It's nice that you don't have to work and that... You stole your kid's Adderall. That's fan good for you. Not me. Three and a half years later, I'm just like, oh, shoot me. I'm ready to sell this thing and go to Vegas. <laughs> no. No. Look, you know how bad it is? Look at this. I've got one glove on. That's how that's how bad it is. At this point, I'm just like, a glove shreds off, I just keep working. Don't even notice that one hand's getting dirty and the other one isn't.
Uh, let's see. Oh, Liz came by to check it out. Uh, I want to thank my wife for giving me uh, haircuts. I don't know if I mentioned it. Anyone that follows me on social media, I put up a picture. Uh, yeah, I did. I basically hadn't had a haircut since like January. My I started looking like some kind of beatnik. It's like get a haircut, heavy. So I did. My wife gives great haircuts, uh, and they're all just for me. I'm a little pissed. I mean, been together 14 years, and she never told me she could cut hair. Seriously, to have saved like eight grand. All right, in the next video, we're going to finish up and light this candle and get the G3X system going. So have a great weekend. Thank you for joining me, everybody. See you soon.